Okay, so I really have to make a, a, a video blog about this because I'm so excited right now, like for real. I've never been this excited in my life. Like Alex, you thought that you were excited to see Amanda Palmer. This is like 10 times more, for real, for real. Okay, so anyone who is anyone will go to apple.com and watch the Macworld 2008 keynote address because it is fucking amazing for real the best ever like you thought the iphone was good check this shit out it they introduced a ton of shit like for real i don't i'll skip over the stuff i don't like i have been in the market for a notebook for a long time like the past three years i have not been in a position to afford one at all i'm still not really but you know, I'm a student, I'll probably take a loan out or something, you know, because I'm young and stupid. Um, but the, ma the, the notebooks that I've wanted have been so entirely out of my range, my price range, and they just have way too much shit, and they're not efficient enough for me, so I was really super excited um, to see the development of these rumors of a an ultra, uh, ultra mobile PC by Apple. And these rumors have been around since like March of 2008 because the FCC has to approve certain patent, or no, like patents or something, I don't know. I think it goes through the FCC. Um, but like all these different patents for like multi-touch technology and for like collapsible ports and stuff. Um, so everyone was like, oh my God, when are we gonna see this you on PC? Well, that's today, because the MacBook Air just came out, and oh my god, I want it so bad. So someone should buy it for me, for real, because I would love you forever. Like, I would do anything. I will be your slave for a month. Um, <laughs> but this thing is crazy insane. Oh my god, it's awesome. So, the thinnest notebook in the world before this one... Um, was pretty thin. You can fit two MacBook Airs stacked on top of each other to equal the thickness of the thinnest notebook before this one. So yeah, it's super thin. Um, there's a commercial where it's fit inside an envelope for office documents. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like, a physical envelope, it fits in there. It has got a full keyboard, full-size keyboard, 13.3 inch high quality display, glossy display, LED backlit, oh my god. So it not only conserves power, but it's instant on, and it's really bright. Like, I had so much trouble with the fluorescent tube backlit display on the MacBook that I borrowed. Um, and I mean, not an insane amount of trouble, but it's, it, like, I had to turn the brightness down a lot in order to conserve battery power. Um, I mean, it's fucking awesome compared to any Vista machine out there. Like, I held, I held this guy today with a Vista machine. Like, we were using his machine for five minutes. It went from 80% to 70% in no time at all. So, it was pretty crazy. Um, but anyway, fuck Microsoft for now. Um, Back to the MacBook Air, pretty freaking amazing. Not only, okay, past the display, the display is awesome. Back to the keyboard, full-size keyboard, ambient light sensor, um, triggers a backlit keyboard. Oh my God, it's what I want. Like, you cannot find any other notebook out there, really, that has a backlit keyboard built in. Like, you gotta buy one separately, and it's external, and that's shit. And the MacBook Pros that had them before were awesome, but for real, I can't afford a $2,000 computer. Now, to be honest, the MacBook Air is pretty close in price. It's 1800 for regular consumers, but I'm a student, so I get $100 off, which I think is kind of shitty. I should at least get 200 off. Um... But maybe they'll offer a better discount once it's been out for a little bit, because by that time I might be able to afford it. I only have $500 for a notebook right now. And 
so even at 1700 instead of 1800 I can't really afford it. I need a lot more money, for real. My tax return probably is not going to be as good as I want it to be, so that's probably not going to get me up there. I'll probably need a third nice chunk of change to get up there to the point where I could actually purchase one. Um, but yeah, it's freaking amazing. Okay, and get this. No optical drive. That's right, no CD drive. No CD drive. But who needs one when you have remote disk? Guess what remote, remote disk is, kids? Remote disk allows you to connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I don't know which. I think it's probably Wi-Fi. Like, I could have a MacBook Air right in front of this iMac, and I could use the CD drive on this iMac with my MacBook Air. I can even use it with a Windows, a shitty-ass Windows computer. I can use a PC. So I use a PC CD drive, and I can load Mac applications onto the, onto the MacBook Air from a PC. That's pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. Um, so yeah. I thought it was kind of shitty when I first heard that you could buy an external um, super drive for it, which is basically like you can read and write CDs, DVDs, and dual layer discs. Um, it's only $100 extra, and it's powered via USB, so no AC cord, a no AC adapter needed. But still, $100 for something that should come with it? Come on. Well since I'm around computers with optical drives all day, every day, it doesn't matter for me. I don't care. And now I thought this was a little odd, but it only has one USB drive or one USB port. That's a little odd, but you can buy USB hubs. It's, it's not a huge deal, 40 bucks for a USB hub or something, you know, not a big deal at all. So I'm really excited, and that um, that patent that went through for the um, there was a like a collapsible um, like port patent that Apple put through that's utilized on this on this notebook um, on the right hand side um, you will see a little like a little flap you flip that down and you have your headphone jack. You have your USB port, and you have a uh, a DVI port. So yeah, it's pretty freaking sweet. Um, I'm trying to think what else, because there's a lot. Oh, and it comes with an 80 gig hard disk drive, or this is unprecedented, a 64 gig solid state drive which means that it's way more power efficient because there are no movable parts at solid state. And it's much, much faster. Because, again, no movable parts. Pretty awesome. Oh my god. Now, the, the um, solid state disk option makes this thing, like, oh my god, expensive. Like, 1800 for the 80 gig hard drive which is pretty tiny. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's the one, the hard disk drive that they use in the MacBook Air is the one that they use in like the 80 gig iPod classics. So yeah, it's pretty small. But the solid state disk is really expensive. Like you go from $1,800 to like $3,100. 80 gig for 1800 64 gig solid state disk for... Um, you know, for 3100 whatever. But yeah, it's really exciting. I'm so excited. I'm getting one as soon as possible. So everyone, just, I don't know, people should send me a dollar or something for my, for my MacBook Air, for real. And I'll love you forever. Like, anyone that helps me, I will love forever. But... Alas, I'll probably have to wait another few months or something. Bye!